my phone rang and I and it was a it wasn't even a call. They sent me a, a text, text and it said, um, Coach Garrett wants to meet with you. Come in and bring your iPad. <laughs> you when they tell you bring your iPad, <laughs> that's it. You're going home. Like, give us our playbook back. We don't need you, we don't want you. Today we are talking about football. Mm -hmm. That's right. Good job, baby. Yep. So we're talking about football. So I go in there and they, they put us on our uh, special team room. So we all sitting in a special our, our big room watching that 70s show while they call us in one by one to cut us. I'm like, this is what they really, I mean, at least they put a show on for us, I guess. <laughs> but, so we watching that 70s show and I'm just sitting there thinking like, here we go again. Like, I just got cut last year. Like, I can't keep getting cut. Like, so. And it's uh, sad yeah, too, yeah, looking around is, I mean, all the guys when you get cut, you're then hoping like, then you're trying really hard to get another team to mm -hmm. pick you up. But the reality is the majority, that mm -hmm. is the last day that they're That's playing the football. Day, get a the teams are allowed to have, what, 90 guys? In the off through season. off season, mm -hmm. and then yeah. So the day that we're talking about is when they have to cut from the ninety down to fifty three, which is huge. And mm -hmm. so and then again, all the teams still only get fifty three all season. So there's right. forty, you know, guy plus ten on practice squad. But still, that's like yeah. that leaves about thirty guys times thirty two teams mm -hmm. that they're done with football now. All right, all right. So that's so like she said, like. Once that day comes, that's like a last time a lot of guys will play football again because it's a ton of guys getting pushed out there at one time. So you kind of get lost in the shuffle, right? you know, and I've been blessed and lucky to it. It hasn't happened to me, but so I'm waiting there. They call me in. I meet with Coach Garrett first, and um, he was like, man, it was so good to see you flying around out there the last preseason game. Uh, you made a ton of plays. Um, but it just didn't work out here. We got linebacker rooms pretty hard to make, which he's not lying. Like that linebacker room in Dallas is really, really good. Um, but I thought I deserved to be there. Um, so I was like, man, there's no problem, Coach. Like this is, what it is. this is the business, the nature of it. Um, I'm just going to lace up my shoes and get back to work. I ain't going to let this stop me. So then I meet with my linebacker coach and he kind of told me the same thing. Like, hey, man, you were a great guy. You played well. Um, but this room is hard to make right now. Um, so a lot of guys are going to have a hard time making this room for years to come. And I was like, yeah, but I thought I should have made it. He's like, I mean, like, I'm sorry. Whatever you need. Like, if I need you need me to bounce for other teams for you, like, I will. Whatever. <laughs> but um, which he a cool dude, don't get me wrong. But, like, come on now. Like, you ain't finna call the Tampa Bay book me like, hey, sign him. Like, you worry about your own room. But I appreciate him saying it. So leaving the facility, um, I wasn't sad when I got cut from the Cowboys. I kind of just didn't have no emotion, like it was like whatever. But driving, I'm sad. yeah, I, like I said, I'm driving home, and then it starts to hit me, like you just got cut. And so I get in the driveway, and like I'm losing it. I was crying, um, cause I just pour my all into that training camp, into them preseason games. I gave it everything I had and to still fall short kind of was like a slap in the face. So I cried. Like, and Molly came out. Um, remember, she told like, Trey, like, you deserve better than this. Um, but when she said it, like, I thought, like, do I? Like, why do I keep being cut if I deserve better than this? And so it was rough. Um, that was really tough because at this time I got two kids. It's like, what and I need to still provide for them. This is a really, really tough thing. At that point, it's still like hope, like, okay, well, let's see where you go tomorrow. Right. Like, you'll get signed somewhere. Let's just see what happens. Right. The day comes and we are thinking, my agent even thinks like, hey, are you going to get claimed? Like, you had a heck of a preseason. You did really good. You look good. So that day comes, I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to get signed. Phone's quiet. I'm taking my agent like, you hear anything? No. Nah, uh, the coach that they're bringing for a workout. And so I'm thinking, not again. Like, I don't want to leave and do workouts again. Like, because the workouts are not fun. They fly you in. They take your blood. You work out at 6 in the morning the next day. And they put you through 40s, vertical stuff you ain't done since, like, college. So, they put you through a lot of strenuous stuff to then say, okay, now go home. So, yeah. I didn't want to do that again. So, I but 
So I was just, have a that's choice. when, I mean, I was just really anxious all day. And that's when, yeah, people are reaching out. Okay, so what teams of contact? And it's like, nothing. Mm-hmm. And I mean, I even try to ask Trey, like, so what's, and in the same, he's doing the kind of same thing to me that I'm doing to my family. Like, I would tell you oh, if something happened, I haven't heard anything. Like, no one's contacting me. Right. And I think this that whole process is getting cut. And like, the, it makes me like, Sna- uh, real. So like when she's asking me those questions, I'm upset with her for asking me because like I want to be signed. Like I want to have news to tell you. Like I want to yeah. say, yeah, you know what? Yeah, but who just this team just called and I'm about to go there. But so when she's asking me that and nothing happened, it's just like reiterating that yeah, you ain't on no team. So it just kind of made me upset, and that's something that like this league will do to you. Um, but I didn't get signed that next day. Back on the workout trail. Um, I did have a lot of teams call to work me out. Mm-hmm. The Cleveland Browns were the first one. So the Cleveland Browns call and Seattle call. Um, and they both were like fighting to get me in first because they both wanted to sign me. And so I was just kind of like, well, somebody gonna sign me. Like, that was exciting. So I flew out to Cleveland and I sucked this workout up. Like I was terrible. Um, I Again, like the, the Eagles workout, like I was in shape, but it's like I was tripping over the bags on drills that I can do in my sleep. Like I was stepping on the bags, not catching the ball. It's like, what is going on? So of course they didn't sign me. They kind of told me like, yeah, um, no, um, we're okay. Like, but we'll bring you in like uh, in two weeks and sign you. That's what they told me. We'll sign you in like two weeks. So yeah, just keep our, just, we'll call you. And I'm thinking like, man, you're not going to sign me. Like after that workout, you're not going to call me back which they didn't. And so I flew right from Cleveland though, to Seattle for another workout. Didn't get to see my wife or my kids, flew to another workout. Um, I killed this one though. I killed the Seattle workout. Cause I think once I failed at another workout, it just makes me want to work so much harder at my next workout. So I get to Seattle and we do the exact same drills I did in Cleveland and I complete them like I know how. Um, The Seahawks, uh, I remember I did get that workout, they told me, I called my agent like, hey, any news? He's like, yeah, they want to keep you um, overnight because they want to try to sign you. I'm ecstatic. I did the text or call my and told him like, yeah, they're trying to keep me overnight, so I think they're going to sign me. I go back to the hotel. They didn't sign me that day. So I called my agent like, bro, what's going on? It's like, they trying to work it out. They're going to sign you, though. The next they day. They had passed. to make a spot for mm-hmm. him. They, like they, to, want, yeah. they knew they wanted Trey, but there's 53 guys. So, I mean, yeah, nature of the business. Somebody that sucks go. for someone else. I mean, they were trying to find anyone on their roster that they could get rid of to then bring Trey in. So a ton of times when you get cut in the NFL is solely just because, like, like you're a running back, but a linebacker got hurt that week, so they need yep. a new linebacker. So a running back somebody got to go. Get, mm-hmm. Yeah, gets cut so that a linebacker can That's get brought in. So it's it has nothing to do with game. what you're doing, right. but they can only have 53 guys. So they say yeah. it's a numbers game. Is what you always hear. It's a numbers game. So yeah. uh, the second day come. My agent said, yeah, I mean, they working on it. They trying to sign you. So I'm still sitting in a hotel. Like, they're still paying for my hotel. I'm just sitting there. Um, all day. All day. Still nothing. So I'm like, all right, I, tell my, I call my agent, like, are they still going to sign me? Like, what? let me go home if you're not going to sign me. He's like, no, they're going to sign you. They wouldn't do that. And so the third day come. Third night they signed me. But so I'm excited. I text her, like, hey, they just signed me. Um... Here we go, like we got another spot. And a lot of people when I told them I got signed again, it's like you are the most luckiest person I know. Like no one gets these many chance this many chances to play in the NFL. Like no one gets all these chances. And I'm thinking, yeah, I work my butt off for these chances. So um they signed me. Uh I practiced with them um the the next day, because I couldn't practice the day I got signed for some reason. So I practiced the next day and we fly out to Chicago for a game against the bears and so i immediately started like yeah, packing, packing up our house and again we just kind of figured we might as well like i don't we're never going to think oh we're for sure staying there so why wait you might as well right. get out there because you can be cut at any time anyways right so we just started packing up everything to hopefully move out to seattle like i had a plane ticket for like three days later or something mm-hmm. so we played a game in chicago uh, we come back um, Monday or two, I forget what it was. I had called Miley because um, the Seahawks were telling me, like, we love you here, we're going to keep you here, and blah, blah, blah. So I called Miley, like, I'm about to get a rental car. And so I called him, like, hey, can I get a rental car set up? You got who do you got to go through for the players to get rental cars? So we could come pick so, us up from the airport. From the airport. So I had a plane ticket yeah. to Seattle. 
I had sold everything in our house. Like our house was empty. I packed all of our bags up. I was flying to Seattle the next day. And, and I was FaceTiming Trey. Trey says like, oh, I'm about to go get a rental car. Gotta go. <laughs> Hangs up. Literally uh-huh. like two minutes later, I get a call from Trey again. Actually, I think I'm about to get cut. Yeah. And like basically hung up. Like she said like, I don't know yet. I gotta go and hung up. And so I was just like so anxious, like waiting to hear the news. And then it was like 30 seconds later, he called back and said, yeah, they're cutting me. I am driving over to the facility now to sign the papers. Yeah. They're releasing me. So what happened? He said, yeah. so switch the flight to Utah. Because I'm like, I literally just sold our bed and our couch. Like you can't even fly back here. <laughs> like we don't have anywhere to stay. And so it was like, so I switched our flights, mine and the kids to Utah. Had the Seahawks fly him to Utah. Right, so how that went for me on my Hi, side guys. was, what's wrong? You okay? What happened? Nothing happened. You're good, ready? No, what's something wrong? happened. What's wrong, love? What happened? Why are you something sad? happened. What happened? I don't know. Okay, can you go get your mom's phone there? Okay. So on my end, that was like, I, so I hung up and called the room and come like, hey, can I come pick up a car? The dude told me, yeah, we'll bring, we'll drive over to you and bring you to our uh, shop, or not shop, to our lot. So I'm like, okay. So when I got the phone to bring the car, dude, get him from the wall, it was from uh, Brenton, Washington. I'm like, no way. There's no way that this is the Seahawks calling me. There's no way. I answer it. He said, like, hey, Trey, you got your playbook? <sighs> like I told you guys before, they bring up that playbook. That mean you are gone. So I knew right then what it was. I was like, yeah, I got it. He said, okay, um, what you doing for the rest of the day? <laughs> and I was like, I just want to get a rental car. He's like, well, cancel that. Uh, I'm going to come pick you up. They want to meet with you. I'm like, man, okay, just tell me what it is. And so he couldn't get me. Um, and he's like, yeah, man, I'm sorry, blah, blah, blah. They cut me, whatnot. So I was in Seattle for one week, not even a week, four days, four or five days. Yeah. And Seattle cut me. Um, I fly back to Utah because we don't have a house in Texas anymore because yeah. Miami sold everything. Um, and I'm back on the workout trail. Um, so I do a ton of workouts. I do one here in LA. I fly work for the Chargers and I'm really excited because I feel like there's an opportunity here. Um, I killed the workout and the guy, of course, they didn't sign me. That's right then. But the guy tells me uh, when I meet with him, hey, stay in shape. We're gonna come back and get you in a week. And I'm thinking, well, the Browns said the same thing to right. me. I never heard from him. So I tell Miley that, and I tell. I was him, really you know, hoping. Right. When he went out to LA, I have friends that well, they live in San Diego, and so I remember like telling them like that he was doing a workout, and they already just been like, I mean, I want him to go anywhere, but like I really want him to go there. Like I really, really, really hope he doesn't come back home. And then he said he's coming back, not getting signed. So I was like. Ugh. Okay. Well, I really, really wanted that one, but whatever. Right. And at this point, like, because he'd already been cut from the Seahawks, I feel like it was even more frustrating because then it started being like, I don't know, like, is he going to get signed anywhere? Mm-hmm. Like, this isn't how we really we thought the season was going to go. It was frustrating. Like, is he going to be done know. with football? Is he not going to get signed right. anywhere? And I didn't. They didn't sign me. But the dude told me, like, a week. So I told my like, hey, but don't get your hopes up. So, like, we she know, like, we know how this business is. Like, they just tell you what you want to hear because, like, it's awkward for them to bring me into the room. Yeah, we really hated what you did out there. Like, that's weird. So they just kind of, like, try to smooth it over. So I'm thinking, like, man, whatever. Um, I go home. Naya's, um, Naya's screaming because she's supposed to go out there right now. Next week, come down. You were supposed to be scheduling another oh, workout. Right. But I think they hadn't even scheduled it yet. It's like that one kind of fell through. Huh? So that's oh. when we started to get like a little bit yeah, more yeah, annoyed. Yeah, it was like a week went by and like I didn't have a workout. So it was like, oh my gosh. I didn't really like, I know I didn't believe that the Chargers were gonna call me back. Like I didn't believe it. So I remember um, it was like a, a week. Like I worked out from Monday. I was in bed Monday and they called me. And it was like, and we were sleeping. It was a number from Florida. So I'm like, who is calling me from Florida? Like, I wasn't going to answer it, but like, it could be a team. And so I answer it. And it's like, uh, yeah, Trey, this is, I'm not going to say his name, from the Chargers. We want to sign you. And he's like, I told you I was going to be calling you back in a week. And I was 
I like shed a tear like I was like so happy. And Miley wakes up like, oh, who is that? I'm, like it's the Chargers. I'm like, I'm flying out to London. So they flew me out to cover the game was that, that next week. Um, so I had you a flight. You can watch that video if what? you want of me quickly waking up and recording him. Oh yeah. Getting like on the phone call with the Chargers. I'm saying right. like, pack your bag, you're coming. Like you're gonna mm -hmm. leave in a few hours. Right. So I took a flight that day. Um, that like later on that day to fly out to LA and been here since. Uh, been here since what week six, week four, whatever it is. I've been here. And even while I've been here, I've been cut by the Chargers. Um, they called me up to their active roster, uh, like week 11, and I was there, played like three, four games, whatever. Then they cut me again, so I was cut by them. Um, <laughs> back down to back the practice Back down to the squad. practice squad, they signed me down. And so still just trying to make it in this league. Um, uh, but I love it here in LA. Um, but like, again, who knows, like, they drafted two linebackers again this year. So uh, just go out there and try to outperform them again is all I can really do. All we can really do is just put our best foot forward and okay. hope for the best because um, you can't really control what the teams think. You just control what you can put out there. And if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. And I kind of just taking that approach with it that I feel like I just, I'm good enough to play in this league and I know I can compete and do well in this league. And the coaches see it is just – now I gotta just make the front office see it. So I'm excited for this year. Um, I think it's gonna be a good year for us, whether it's here in LA or anywhere else. Yeah, I was gonna, I just crossed my fingers. Hopefully we stay yeah. here. Oh. Um, yeah. We'll see, but. We will always keep you updated on yes. you this will know crazy ride. This crazy ride of being cut and not being cut. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Um, like, subscribe uh again comment down below if there's more you want to hear about my football journey um i can get i can tell you guys more if you want it's a lot of things that fans don't know about the team so if there's anything you want to know comment down below yeah. we're Any open questions yeah, yeah we're an open book we're going to do another q a here soon so you can go to our instagram and our twitter and send us questions uh, we're going to do another q a for you guys again thanks for watching right. and have a great day i love you bye Peace. Stop doing that. <laughs>